Hey everybody, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something a little different today because I'm doing a Q&A. I asked you guys on Instagram for your questions. You guys come on. <laughs> come on, let's go. My dogs are wrestling. All of Hannah, come on. Come on. First question, who is your favorite pet besides Otis? Hi, Otis. Hey, good boy. All right, yeah, Otis is obviously my favorite and the only living being I truly love. Um, I'm kidding, I love a lot, of, a lot of things and people, but I love Otis the most. And then second after that is Hannah, um, who drives me crazy and I sometimes like her the least, but I love her the second most. Flavortown1 asks, is a hot dog a sandwich? I have to say no, I have to say no, I don't think that just because something goes in between a bready thing that it is a sandwich. I think a bun isn't bread. You know, maybe if if you took like two pieces of bread and put hot dogs in between, then you would have a hot dog sandwich, I believe. Erica and Frida's eyebrows asks, why are you so funny when you're mad? I believe that it is a coping mechanism. <laughs> I've worked on my anger issues throughout my life because I don't think it's good to be angry. Um, and so that is a way that I can like cope with being mad is to like make jokes instead. Um, because I, yeah, I would say I've like dealt with some anger issues. <laughs> CBUS Food and Beer says, what's your favorite book? My favorite book is I have tended to say East of Eden uh, by John Steinbeck. I haven't read it in a bit though. I really need to reread. Um, my favorite book I've read recently would be Keeping the House. Um, oh shit, who wrote By Ellen Baker. So I found this kind of randomly on my uh, library app, Overdrive. You can rent books for free. And I, yeah, I just was like trolling through the historical fiction section because historical fiction is my favorite. And um, yeah, this book, it goes from like the 1870s through the 1950s and tells uh, stories about several different generations of one family and it's really interesting. The characters just really grabbed me and like I, I just, I still think about those characters all the time. Scarecrow917 says, why are plans altered sometime? This is, uh, this is an interesting question that I don't totally understand, but I said I would take a stab at it. Um, sometimes this, you, you know, your situation changes and you think you're going to be able to do something, but then you can't. Sometimes you are more, you're too optimistic. You think you're going to be able to do something that you're not actually able to pull off. Um, I do this all the time where I'm like, yes, I can get to these seven things within four hours. Of course I will be there. And then when it actually comes down to it, you're like, oh, it's physically impossible for me to go to all these places. I'm an idiot. Um, and then, um, yeah, also sometimes people make plans they don't really want to do because they don't know how to get out of it in the moment. And then they just don't show up or they come up with an excuse so they don't actually have to do it. Balto Lover has a few, a few questions. First of all, how does it feel to be famous? I mean, I am not famous. <laughs> uh, I am slightly internet famous to a small group of people and it feels it feels a little weird because it sometimes it feels like i have the good and bad things of being actually famous on just this very very small scale the cool things about it are obviously like getting to do the career that i've always wanted i love having like the support and love my fans i love getting to know you guys um the bad side is like you know, sometimes people invade my privacy. I don't like that. Um, I do actually, I've just gotten to a point where I have to worry sometimes when I meet people if they actually like me for me or if they like me for like my audience, which sucks. And so um, it's kind of nice if I meet somebody and they don't know what I do and they don't find out till significantly later, like what I do. Yeah, it's an interesting thing. It's like, as soon as, people follow you on Instagram, then they're like, oh, you know? And then you know, sometimes they like change how they are. If anything, the biggest thing I've learned is that famous people are exactly like non-famous people. And if they think they're different, 
then that's on them and that's in their own mind because really like we're all the same we're all equals here like why are you so cute thank you sometimes i feel really cute and sometimes i feel hideous <laughs> why do you love otis so much um so honestly sometimes i really love a person or a thing and i'm not totally sure why and i guess it has to just be like the chemicals in my brain so i really think with otis i met him when he was a little puppy and i took care of him and i was the person who took care of him all day long for weeks um but especially like the first several days it was him and me all day long every day i'd never had a puppy before i was you know i i just like was helping a neighbor like i didn't even plan on adopting him so uh, i wasn't ready for this at all and he was such a baby and i literally think that just like the chemicals that happen in your brain when like a woman has a baby and then her brain is like this is your baby and you'll fucking do anything to protect this baby you'll like murder everything on earth just for this baby to live i think all those chemicals like poured out in my brain even though he's a dog sophie scott xoxo says how do i not give a fuck about what people think about me that's a great question i have worked on this there's really no other way to live life like you have to live life your way people are always gonna have opinions and people have negative opinions about literally everything there's no single life path you could choose that everyone is e even going to approve of so like you can't get everyone's approval so there's no point in even thinking about it the only thing you can do is get your own approval and try to do things the way that you feel good about you know in accordance with your own morals and the way that you like to live and the more you do that, it's just like a muscle. You exercise it, you get better and better at figuring out what you like and what you want and tuning out other people's voices. And I'm still working on that too, but it makes you happier and then you'll see that you're getting happier and so you keep doing it. I drink till I'm drunk, I smoke till I'm high. Oh, Balto Lover had some more questions. Um, what's your favorite outfit? I actually really, um, I really liked what I wore as tana so i dressed up as tana manjo for halloween i wore this like bra and like black skirt and i really enjoyed that outfit i felt very cute in that one more question from balto lover how are you on a first date shy or confident um this really depends and it frequently depends yeah just if i feel comfortable with the person or like how much i like them definitely sometimes i will like the person so much that I am so shy and I have a really hard time like being myself and being confident and comfortable. Um, but that also depends. Sometimes I'll really like the person but they're very good at like putting me at ease and then I'll feel good. Um, sometimes I go on a date and I feel early on that I am way more the int more interesting person and then I always feel extremely confident because I'm like wow this person is so lucky to be on a date with me like I'm fascinating and so beautiful. <laughs> Spare NYC says will you ever come to NYC? Yeah I mean I've been there a bunch of times and I'll definitely come back. I don't have any plans right now but I'd love to. Anushka says uh do you already have a new relationship um no but i am dating people Ah, it's my son hi son hello so yeah no i'm not in another relationship but i am dating and i enjoy dating i don't really like um like being 100 percent single not dating anybody i need to kiss people like very frequently for my mental health Okay, now I told people they could DM me if they didn't want me to use their name. So here are some anonymous questions. What is your dream? My dream is to act in movies and be able to travel the world and continue to make YouTube videos and basically just be a, an extremely successful performer with a very full, incredible life where I get to do a whole lot of things. When will the merch come out? Uh, working on it, working on it, hopefully by Christmas. Hopefully it'll be something you can buy for Christmas. I'm not sure though, it's complicated. Do you want more dogs? Um, no, I love dogs and I'm always like, I'm always so tempted to like try and help more dogs, but I am extremely overwhelmed with the dogs that I do have. So this person said that their ex asked them out and said that they are madly in love with them. What should they do? Um, and that 
she does like this person back well then go out with them again if you like them they like you go out with them like if everything is good they they treat you well you treat them well then why not like yeah sometimes there are little things you need to work out but I don't think that a relationship needs to like work out forever in order to be good now. Like if you enjoy dating each other now, there's no real reason to worry about like, oh, is, does this have like long-term potential? Not every relationship needs to be that. If you want to date her now and she wants to date you now, then do it. Okay. <coughs> what kind of music did you listen to growing up and has your change <coughs> and has your taste in music? What kind of music did you listen to growing up and has your taste in music changed over the years? So growing up, I listen to a lot of rock. Both my parents listen to rock, so I listen to a lot of classic rock and some like kind of punk stuff. Like we listen to um, uh, Green Day and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, my mom is really into like Alanis Morissette. My dad is really into like 70s classic rock and also like musicals. So listen to a lot of that stuff growing up. And then pop too. I've always loved pop, top 40 radio, like Britney Spears, stuff like that. And um, yeah, I still like all of those things. And I guess my music tastes have just added where now I also like a lot of other kind of oldies. Like I love like 50s, 60s music. My parents don't listen to that. I really love like EDM and dubstep. I didn't really start listening to that until like freshman year of high school. Cause um, the first dubstep song I really got into was uh, Equinox first of the year by Skrillex. Literally, my brother sent it to me, and then I listened to it nonstop for like days and days and days. And that started my obsession with EDM, which continues to this day. Also, do you have a favorite meme? I was very into Harambe jokes for a while, if we're talking about like favorite ever. Um, favorite current meme? It's a great question. Such a good question. I love so many memes. I don't know, I cannot think of a favorite meme. I feel like a failure and I'm sorry. And then just uh, somebody asked if the person in my photos that I had posted was my boyfriend, but no, that was my brother. So, I think that's all the questions. I'm sorry if I missed any of them, but thank you for all the questions. I hope that it was enjoyable. You got to know me better, I got to know you better. Um, but it was fun. If you like this, I'll do it again. And yeah, I'm always, available hop into my dms i try to respond to them especially every now and then i feel like very friendly um like <laughs> when i was rolling balls last weekend and then everyone went to sleep at the end of the night i went in and i replied to a bunch of my dms <laughs> uh, i'm so sweet all right thank you guys for watching i love you very much please subscribe to this channel for videos every fucking day all right bye